Okay, I have the phone lines open. We have another caller. Thanks for calling. This is Brian. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Holly. Hello, Holly. How are we Hi. doing? I'm doing okay. Thank you for taking my call. Um, I haven't applied for um, disability yet. Um, I'm currently a nurse. I've been working um, as a nurse for about 10 years now. I've taken some breaks um, to try to reduce my working schedule. I've been dealing with scoliosis for um, the last 35 years, pain and um, working through some of the things. And over the last year, um, it's caused lots of pain, um, reducing my ability to do my job, so I have to have other people do certain things. Um, so I'm thinking about applying my I didn't know, my question is, um, if I apply for or look into VA benefits, my dad said that he was exposed to Agent Orange and potentially that could be um, something that would be covered under that because they have done some studies that, that cause that. Is that something that would be in addition to disability or would it be better just to go the disability route and forego even looking into veterans' benefits. Mm, I, I, I'm not sure. I'd like to learn just a little bit more if I could. Um, sure. So f first of all, nursing work is great work. Thank you for doing it, taking care <laughs> of people. Um, Thank you. Were you like a floor nurse or what kind of nurse were you or, or are you? So cardiac um, intensive cares, and then uh, cath lab doing lots and lots of call shifts. So I would work, I'd have, you know, my most recent that I took, I changed jobs. I had two days off a month, and every other day I worked. And so, I mean, every day other than that, I worked. So um, it was really rigorous, 18-hour um, days often. Um, and so um, that hasn't... I don't think that has exacerbated it, but it was becoming aware, like I was becoming very aware that I'm not going to be able to sustain this. So I would take, I took nine months off, um, got got myself together, figured out, um, you know, kind of how to do some step down. Now I'm doing clinic work and it's Monday through Friday, no weekends, no holidays, no call, still with cath lab, but um, I can't even, you know, help patients you know, assist them in moving their legs or, you know, even squatting down or bending down or picking stuff up off the floor. It's, mm. it's a, ter a terrible amount of pain. And mm. Um, mm. I'm, I'm not very old, so I feel like if I don't address it, I'm going to be yeah. um, not able to do anything. Are that you, scares me. Are you over 50? Um, I am 48. Okay. All right. Um, did you say 18-hour days and you have two days off a month? Did I get that right? There, were, yeah. Well, yes. So I had – those were some of the days were 18-hour days. But, yes, that is correct. I would work – typically 12-hour days would be normal just because lack of staffing, So like things like that. So how, What do you do for life if you only have two days off a month? That's kind of off topic. That, that really. is <laughs> – How do you do life? That's why I step down. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I stepped down. No work life balance for sure. No. Nope. Oh yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I just <laughs> want to pivot a little bit onto veterans. Did you serve? So no, my dad did and he said in Vietnam, um he sat on barrels of Agent Orange and went in the field. He was a, a medic, a combat medic. So mm -hmm. he said um the research that he you know that he's done I know it's spina bifida is one of the things that is approved for that. Scoliosis is iffy, um, but it does, I mean, I do have a functional disability. I can't do a lot of things, especially recently. And so, so um, I've had a lot of treatments and tried a lot of things, but I, nothing seems to work. I'm not a veterans expert, but I, I might be learning something here. Are you saying that because your father was exposed to Agent Orange, mm -hmm. it could have had an impact on your health, which allows you to file for VA yeah. benefits? Correct. And it has to be 
before the before the child was conceived, they had to have served in this particular area where they would mm-hmm. they would do Agent Orange. And if I had spina bifida, it would be I don't think there'd be any question. It would just be file and I get it. Wow. I'm just doing research on it now, but I don't want to I I want to do whatever's going to be the best you know, the best route to go, yeah. whether that's one or the other or both, I don't know. Sure. So, Phil, have you ever heard of this, the VA thing? First time up, Debbie. Really. Well, we're new here. I mean, Philip, six years, and I'm okay. on 18, so, you know, we're, we're just getting started. Oh. <laughs> uh, but here's my, here's my take, uh, Holly. Um, we've worked... Uh, currently working with, I'd say, 20% of the people, 22% uh, that we work with um, are veterans that have served, not like your father, but they're, you know, military okay. veterans. And you, so my point is, is that you, you can pursue both. Um, okay. and, and there are two different benefits based on two different criteria um, to do that. So, um for sure now um yeah. back- I, would say, I would say you need to you need to go for that if you can oh, are you there yeah yeah i i was just okay. Okay. F- philip is with me but you can't hear him and he was just speaking to me but he echoed the oh, fact okay. that you should definitely uh go for the va piece as well so for for social okay. security let's start let's uh, talk about that i think okay. um Ultimately, unless you can like delegate all of your work to somebody and still get paid, uh, you need to just ask yourself the question like, you know, can I work? And in your situation, because of your age, Mm -hmm. the question is, can I do any job? Because Social Security, although you've been a nurse, but you're under Mm -hmm. 50, so they're looking at the criteria of doing any job. Um, and, right. And if you... So sitting and standing, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but sitting and standing both um, cause me uh, extreme pain. So I'm in a 6 out of 10 pain constantly, mm-hmm. standing all day. I can't sit down. Yeah. I do not sit down. I have not sat down at work for a year and a half. Yeah. At, at all. Like, I don't sit down to do paperwork. I stand to do everything and it's exhausting so but that also causes um inflammation and so it would have to be a job that i lay down for which i don't know any jobs that i could do that (laughs) that Uh, are good to do so (laughs) i mean i could probably do phone nursing maybe i don't know but i mean i don't know what they would figure out but yeah here's an you know here's one way to look at i think sometimes people overcomplicate the disability application process um Mm -hmm. and one way to look at it is you look yourself in the mirror and say can my body deal with this right right now anyway And, and if the answer is no i'm not able to work then apply for disability and now if you can find a job where you can get back at it then mm-hmm. you're not paying any money to apply for disability. It's just going to suck up some right. of your time, which we can help you reduce here at the Disability Digest. Right. Um, there's no, no possible way to eliminate it, but reduce it. Then you can go back to work. Right. And if you go back to work and you try like, you know, remote nursing uh, or something mm-hmm. like that, and it, it doesn't work, then that could actually be good evidence to prove that you've tried to work and you cannot work. Gotcha. Gotcha. So the other question I had, um, and I just, I'll finish with this, but, um, I filled out the information. I've gotten some phone calls. I'm leery to answer them or respond to the emails because I, I mean, now that I'm talking to you, I'm sure it's, it's fine, but I'm worried because I'm like, is it, you know, is this a scam? Like, are they trying to, because I filled out the information from y'all, and um, I think I need help, but I also, you know, it's free, but is it free, but not, you know, it's like free to sign up, but then there's all these other things that you pay for. I just didn't. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Should I answer those questions? Should I answer the phone? Should I, you know, should I talk to you guys and um, get, is it something that's going to be helpful for me? Mm. 
That's a kind of a loaded question. Um, <laughs> well, I think I'm sure that there's a, there's there's other parts to it, but I mean, this might help you understand it. I mean, our business is okay. this: um, we're for profit. We make money. We make money uh, three ways, um, and but your membership is free. And when you join us, okay. you fill out a profile, which gets you access to a disability approval course that you're not in yet because you haven't spoken to one of our team members. And when you do, they'll help you understand what section of it you need. They'll get the condition specific Mm -hmm. information with you. Um, And if you'd Mm -hmm. like, they'll do an evaluation. They'll take down detailed information about 12 different areas and then they'll bring it in and it's collectively reviewed and we'll give you uh, an assessment and evaluation of your case thinking that, okay. okay, could it be approved? Could it not be approved? And if it could be approved and we can help you and you would like to use us. And if we have availability, because if I only work with a limited amount of people, then right. that's your choice. Or maybe you want to use the course and do it on your own for a while, or hopefully you do it on your own and you get approved, but the membership okay. and the course, there's no charge. So we make money three ways. Um, okay. if people choose to use us and we choose to work with them to get their benefits approved, that's one, uh, two is okay. once they're approved, then, um, we help them with their insurance decisions. We're licensed insurance agents here. So we help them with that, which doesn't cost them anything. Or the okay. third way we make money generally is we're in a partnership program with Google and YouTube. So these, videos and that we have or the replays oh, of sure. videos yeah. have ads on those are the three ways but other than that i mean um if there's ever any charge on our website there's actually a 133 dollar guarantee if you ever ask for a credit card or to be paid for anything then we'll send you a check we've never had to do one because we don't do that so okay. it really comes down to trust okay. and i appreciate the fact that you stepped up and you're willing to call in and ask the question and yeah. Some people are going to be like, I don't know what if I should ask this guy and might offend him. Right. <laughs> well, I will definitely, I'll definitely um, kind of move forward on that process and see, yeah. you know, kind of the information that I need because it, I'm, I don't want to stop working because I need insurance and that it's becoming very, very clear that, that it's, this is not sustainable yeah. and I don't, I don't, can't quit because insurance and income. <laughs> Well, true. One thing to keep in mind, though, is more of a long term strategy. Um, Mm -hmm. When you're approved, like I just went through the numbers, like how much you can make once you're approved. I mean, take a look Mm -hmm. at your disability check. Take a look at your current income. Understand that you could work part time once you're approved. And oftentimes, if people look at their disability check and their part time income, all they really need to focus on is the gap to get approved because it's not that big of a difference unless you're absolutely crushing it right because i mean if you're a (laughs) six-figure earner or something like that and working all the hours that you are i mean i hope you are um but yes yep yeah so i think that's the thing too is you know it 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 is Mm. it's a good it's a well-paying job so right you know i i and but again i'm at a point where um it's becoming evident that it's this is not sustainable so um so i thank you so much for your time and i will um i'll move forward and and talk to somebody who's called me i'll call them back (laughs) for for me all all right well i wish you well thank you for calling in thank you okay all right thank you so much all right have a beautiful day thanks